We previously made a video, Best Fidget Toy for the Office, and it blew up with over a million views. We're back with your comments and suggestions, and even more fidget toys for the Best Fidget Toy for the Office 2020 with your input. Let me take a step back. My name is Paul, and on this channel, we do attend to tech and gadget reviews, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can watch more videos just like this one. We're gonna rate each of the 16 fidget toys for annoyance, will it drive others around you crazy, professionalism, how will it look on your desk, concentration, can you actually keep your hands busy fidgeting while being productive, and popularity based on your votes and comments. For each category, we'll award up to five stars. Total all at the end, see who the winner is, and we'll also make sure to put a link in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. First up is an oldie but a goodie, the Rubik's Cube. Luckily, I don't have to explain how this works because everyone knows that you just spin these things around until you get too frustrated and give up trying to match up the colors on the sides. Well, there are some people that actually know how to do this, but most people don't. To fidget with it, you're just gonna spin these things around and just play with them as you think. And maybe you'll magically get the colors lined up. There are different types out there, such as this one, that's a little bit more quieter, but uh, it does make a little bit of noise. And because of that, we're gonna give it four stars for annoyance, five stars for professionalism, it looks fine sitting on your desk and everyone knows what it is, three and a half stars for concentration, and two and a half for popularity, landing it at the top of the leaderboard because it's the only one we reviewed so far. Next up is the Curin, also known as Rolling Sticks, and the thing is a ton of fun and a fan favorite. But let's be honest, it sounds like you're dropping a block of wood on your desk over and over and over again. Because of that, it gets a one for annoyance, four for professionalism, it actually looks fine sitting on your desk, two and a half stars for concentration, and three and a half for popularity. Landing it in second place for now. Next up is the Twiddle Fiddle, and it is a favorite by many as well. You can just wrap it around your fingers like a rubber band, or you can make shapes with it. It gets a four for annoyance, four for professionalism, two stars for concentration, and three and a half for popularity, making it take over second place. The Tangle's been around for a little while now, but the junior size is more suited for the office. It comes in different colors and textures, and doesn't make a lot of sound. You can make shapes and different things with it, and because of that, it gets four for annoyance, four for professionalism, four for concentration, and four stars for popularity. Fours across the board puts it squarely in first place. The bike chain and keychain fidget toys are very simple and they're easy to use. You just roll them around or flip them around in your hands as you use them and concentrate and they're fairly quiet. And because of this, they get four and a half stars for annoyance, four stars for professionalism, three stars for concentration, and two and a half stars for popularity, put in right in the middle of the pack. Both a puzzle as well as a fidget toy, the Flexi Puzzle is a favorite by many. You can make different shapes, try to match different puzzles, and all sorts of things, and it only makes a little bit of a click as you move it around. It gets three stars for annoyance, three stars for professionalism, three stars for concentration, and three stars for popularity. The solid threes puts it in second to last place. You'd have to be living under a rock to not know what a fidget spinner is, and unfortunately that popularity with the kids has ruined its reputation in the office. Because of this, it gets two stars for annoyance, two and a half stars for professionalism, four stars for concentration because it's still not too bad, and three stars for popularity, landing at second to last place. With endless squishiness, shapes, bounciness, and even sometimes magnetic properties, Thinking Putty is a popular option for many as long as it doesn't get stuck in the carpet. Since it's quiet, it gets four stars for annoyance, four stars for professionalism, four and a half stars for concentration, and four and a half stars for popularity, landing it right at the top of the list. No, this is not the real smallest game controller, it's actually the fidget pad, which has been recommended to me by a lot of people. It has a joystick, buttons, switches, dials, all sorts of things on it. We're gonna give it a four for annoyance, four for professionalism, especially based on your decor, three for concentration, and two for popularity. This places it right at the lower half of the pack. The Infinity Cube can be plain or have pictures on it, and it's often given away as a promotional item by companies. You can do endless fidgeting with it with two hands or even one hand. And because of this, it gets four stars for annoyance, four and a half stars for professionalism, four stars for concentration, and five stars for popularity. This puts it right at the top of the pack. A lockpick set is something that you probably didn't expect, but I know some people that actually use them for fidgeting and the inner workings of a lock is pretty cool to see. Because of the noise that happens when it opens, 
It's pretty loud, so it gets a three for annoyance, a four for professionalism, a three for concentration, but only a one for popularity. Anti Labs blew away their 15,000 goal on Kickstarter with nearly $6.5 million with the Fidget Cube. That is crazy. It has six sides, it has switches and dials and things on all of them, and it is extremely popular. It gets four stars for annoyance, four stars for professionalism, 4.5 stars for concentration, and five stars for popularity, and that puts it tied in first place with the Infinity Cube. Due to their popularity, thumb chucks remain on the list, but they're a little bit too crazy for The Office with their tricks like the ball song. They get one and a half stars for annoyance, two stars for professionalism, two and a half stars for concentration, and three and a half for popularity. This puts the thumb chucks in last place. These little magnetic balls by Specs, also known as Bucky Balls, are great for making shapes and squishing around in your hand. They also look great on your desk. Because of this, they get four for annoyance, five for professionalism, four for concentration, and two and a half for popularity, putting it right on the upper half of the list. Recently funded on Kickstarter, Fin Gears are magnetic rings that you can do tricks and fidget with while they're on your desk, or you can even type with them while they're on your fingers. I'm giving them four for annoyance, four for professionalism, four stars for concentration, and two and a half stars for just getting funded on Kickstarter. Maybe the simplest and the cheapest on the list is the mesh and marble. It has a marble trapped in this mesh and you just move it around and fidget with it. Simple as that, but it's pretty effective. I rate it as five stars for annoyance, three stars for professionalism, four and a half stars for concentration, and three and a half stars for popularity, putting it tied at fourth place. We made it through the list, and before I get to the tiebreakers, let me talk about two more fidget toys real quick that were in the constellation bracket. First up is the fidget capsule. The reason this thing is not on there is because it was on Indiegogo and you cannot buy new ones right now. Hopefully you can soon. And you simply press this while fidgeting with it. You can also use it to work out as there's different tensions. The other one is what I call the contact lens holder, and you just flip and flop these around. Looks like something you'd put your contact lenses in, and it's pretty simple. Now to sort out the ties based on the comments from the previous video, and this would be a great time for you to comment below and let me know what is your favorite fidget toy for the office as well. Tied for fourth place is the Mesh and Marble and Tangle Jr. With 4.6% of the votes and 7.1% of the votes, the Tangle Jr. gets the fourth spot. Now for the ultimate showdown, the Infinity Cube versus the Fidget Cube, and the votes were extremely close with 23.4% of the votes to 24.2% of the votes. The Fidget Cube is the all-time winner. Yes, the Fidget Cube is the winner for the best fidget toy for the office in 2020. There's also a lot of other great options here. Again, link in the description below. Thank you for watching.